Hey, it's Professor Davison. In this StatCast, we want to talk about computing Poisson probabilities on the Casio FX300ES scientific calculator. These are some interesting calculations to do because they really kind of bring in a lot of the different features of this calculator. So let's do this by example. And this one has two parts. It says the Centers for Disease Control reports that in 1998, there's been an average of about 3 0.6 cases of tetanus per month in the U.S. Tetanus is a uh, uh, disease we get from, uh, you know, maybe stepping on a rusty nail, something like that. Uh, suppose a medical researcher chooses a month period at random to study incoming cases of the disease. In Part A, we want to compute a discrete probability here. In other words, a probability for only one value, and we want to compute and interpret P of X being 5. Well, notice here, down here at the bottom, we have the probability distribution function for the Poisson random variable x. And so uh, our mean here, mu, is 3.6. That's the number of cases per month, on average, we have of tetanus. And that's good for x values from 0, 1, 2, and so on. Uh, the probabilities get very small fairly quickly here. So um, they just go on and on, though, theoretically. So in part A, we want to go ahead and compute the um, Poisson probability when x is 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and start a fraction here. And first we'll put in 3.6. And then we want to raise that to the fifth power using the exponent button. And we'll hit the right, uh, right cursor key to go down from that. And then we want to multiply that by e to the negative 3.6. So to get e, let me show you here, let me zoom in on it. That is the shift key and the ln, the natural log key, gives you e to the box, e to the x, e to the minus mu is what we're going to have. So we'll hit the shift key and then the ln key to get uh, the exponential function. And then one thing we're going to have to do is to use this negative key for the negative 3.6. We can't use the minus key here. That means something different to the calculator. So I'll go ahead and hit Shift, LN to get e to the, and then the negative 3.6 power. So there's our numerator. And then in the denominator, I'll just go ahead and hit the right cursor key twice. And we need x factorial. Uh, excuse me, we need 5 factorial, pardon me, so we'll just go ahead and hit 5, and then for the factorial key, that is the shift key, and then x to the minus 1 power, right over here uh, to the right of the cursor key, and we can go ahead and hit enter now. So it looks like there's about a 13.8% uh, chance, about a 14% chance that there'll be 5 cases of tetanus reported in any particular month. So that's how we would compute a Poisson probability if um, we just have to compute it for one value. Now in part B, let's take a look at that. It says uh, determine the probability that at least two cases of tetanus will be reported in a selected month. So by at least two, we mean two, but it could be more than that could be three, four, five, six, and it could go on and on and on. So to compute that, the easiest way would, to do that would be to compute its complement. In other words, take one minus the probability that we have less than two cases. In other words, we have no cases of tetanus or we have one case of tetanus. So let's go ahead and do that through the use of a probability distribution. So to make that distribution, we'll just go ahead and hit the mode key, and we'll make a table of probabilities. That's number three. And now we want to put in the general form of our Poisson probability distribution function here. So we'll start a fraction, and then we'll put in 3.6, and we want to raise that to the x power. So we'll go ahead and hit the exponent key, and to get x, that is, let me show you, zoom up here, the alpha key and then the right parenthesis gives us the independent variable x. So there we have that. And 
Now we want to go ahead and hit the right cursor key and then multiply that by e to the minus 3.6. So again, that's just the shift key, ln, and then the negative key, 3.6. And then go ahead and hit the right cursor key twice to get down into the denominator. Now we need x factorial in the denominator. So that's the alpha key and the right parenthesis to get x and to get the factorial key that's shift and then x to the minus one there we go so there we have our probability distribution function put in I'll go ahead and hit enter and we want this table to start at zero now theoretically it really does not end I mean it goes infinitely far but let's just put in a number uh, that we can use to to uh, have an ending point. I'll go ahead and put in 20. It'd be very unlikely that there would be more than 20 cases in a one month period. And we'll go ahead and keep the step, the increment of x being 1, and we want to do that for all of our discrete random variables. And so there we have it. There we have a, a probability distribution for our Poisson random variable. And so the two probabilities we were interested in are these first two. The probability when x is 0 and then down here we're, uh, we want the probability when x is 1. Remember we were using the complement to compute this probability. So the first one is 0 0.0273, the second one is 0 0.0983. So we'll go ahead and do our computations for, with that. So I've recorded those down. So now let's just go to the mode key one more time and hit 1 to get back in computational mode. So we want 1 minus the quantity point zero two seven three. that's the probability that there's no tetanus in a particular month, plus point zero nine eight three. probability of just one case. And we'll go ahead and hit the equal sign now. And I'll go ahead and hit the SD key to convert this to decimal form. And so there we have it. Let's go ahead and um, interpret this solution here. So it looks like there's about an 87% chance that there'll be at least two cases of tetanus reported in any given month. So that's how we can compute Poisson probabilities using the Casio FX300ES scientific calculator.